Yeah, very good evening to you and you're welcome to our weekly uh, Dacia Og slot where we're focusing on the academy squads and development squads and this weekend our focus is on the uh, Waterford Dacia Og under 14 footballers who are going to be uh, venturing into action uh, this Saturday. They're in Killa in East Cork to face uh, Immokilly and Cork City. They three teams in action there with two games per team and uh, delighted to be joined on the line now by Eugene Lambert who's uh, one of the uh, mentors uh, involved with the uh, squad and I suppose first of all uh, Eugene you might give us an outline of how things have gone I suppose since you got the lads together and I suppose great that the under 14s can be back together I suppose and you know get this chance now to represent our county I suppose and certainly Gavin and thanks for the call yeah so Gavin it's been exciting times with the uh, under 14s you know we've been uh, I suppose back in February March we we've, we've, uh, the coaching team were you know between uh, we had a number of workshops there looking at various aspects of the development of the players and we're excited now to get on the field and start, uh, you know, flying what the group, uh, you know, has been talking about. Um, so, like, in fairness, the team that's involved, broadly speaking, it's, you know, Trevor Costello from Strad Valley and, uh, you know, myself, then Tom McGill, working together uh, in the group on 14s and taking an awful lot of, um, taking an awful lot of uh, on board with the teams that we had through the various workshops we would have had so the great, the exciting thing about it is that we have very strong coaches with us across uh, across a wide range of clubs across Waterford. You know, if you take Michael Byrne there from uh, Kilmac Thomas, Jimmy Marr, Han Harkey or Kieran Hallahan, there's a guys there that have really um, they've managed and coached uh, senior football teams across Waterford, and now they're they're stepping into the under four teams with to drive it on. So it's it's really exciting times. Mm, yeah, that, that's great to see. Actually, a great point to start on Eugene that these guys, I suppose, who've you know played for the county as well, have given great service to, to adult teams, and now putting it back into the the youth of the county as well at under fourteen level. Like that's um that's great to see, isn't it? It certainly is. Like and like the structure that that has been brought into the under fourteens with the strength and conditioning guys, you're very experienced guys there that that leads certain aspects for athletic development, looking at the develop the player as a whole and looking at their, you know, um. Very, very small but incremental improvements, and uh, you know, there's lots of aspects that guys are bringing to it. You know, myself, you know, I'm looking, I'm coming from an under 14, underage, uh, juvenile kind of learn uh, aspects of it. Whereas I'm seeing, you know, you're being surrounded by very experienced guys coming in, looking at skills development, looking at how the players make decisions on the field, and like bringing in small side of games. So, like you're really looking at the full picture. And uh, you know it's really great to see you know when you're looking at the 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 the, the under fourteens that are coming week in week out the training, uh, the sport of their clubs and their own mentors within the clubs. But looking at the w- wide range of clubs that players are coming through um, from, so it, it's fantastic to see a really broad spectrum of clubs being represented. Mm, absolutely, yeah. Always great to see, I suppose. And uh, I know I spoke to the under fourteen hurlers last weekend, and you know everyone, I suppose, getting their opportunities well. And I'm sure you're on the same boat, Eugene. As you know, you're looking at everyone, inviting everyone in. You're still probably pretty much at the the trial basis and looking at guys, but um, everyone is kind of buying into it so far. Oh, big time! Like, and that's you know, I mean, I suppose you know, on the f- football and f- Watford and football, you know, this what certainly looking at how we broaden it out and how you know how how football can be more attractive to the wider wider you know groups of uh, younger players um and certainly you know the intention is i suppose whatever we're doing we're working with the clubs in order to i suppose there is no under 14 hurling or a football championship this year until later in the year okay mm-hmm. so all the any, uh, all the aspects that they're getting exposed to now will you know, whether to go on and play at a, a county level or whether they bring it back to the clubs and influence how they're, how they're made train on the field, you know, that's all, it's all good for the overall development of the, of the, of the sport, you know. Certainly is indeed. You can write it down. And uh, this weekend, you're going to have three teams in action, three different, I suppose, representatives of or three different squads as such uh, up in Killa in East Cork, uh, Eugene, and uh, which is great to see. Really, I can't remember the last time that Waterford fielded three teams at at any level in football. So that's great to see, isn't it? Ahead of, on ahead of Saturday now. Yeah, it's very exciting. Like it, it is, like because, like you know, we uh, like we're, we've been you know working towards this for the last number of weeks, and you know, previously before that, number of months with the, with the, with the various coaches and you know, sports Jason Reinder and Benji Whelan, 
to the most experienced guys in more for football. Um, so it's 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 fantastic to see you know you send out a, a group in WhatsApp or uh, to the group and you're getting instant replies you know fifty sixty response saying yeah we're there book us in so like it's really opening up and making sure that you know guys get exposed to it and uh, you know and get enjoyment out of it you know. Mm, that's important, yeah. And uh, each team, then Eugene will get uh, two games as well on the day as well, which is I suppose great for their development as well. And I suppose as I touched on last week with the under fourteen hurlers, kind of a, a unique age group as well, where it's the first time that you know I suppose they're they're putting on that county jersey as well. So it's a it's a big uh, it's a big moment, I suppose, isn't it? Ah, uh, certainly is. And like, and and I suppose it's it's it's, it's it, it can't happen without the parents, um, you know, support. And like, and that's you know, we certainly recognise that. Maybe our train sessions and and the club support like so it's a big play- time for the players coming involved and you know we're making sure that when we do that there are training sessions and you know we, we're being as planned and making sure we're efficient but also recognizing that you know each player will have different experiences and different you know characters come along the way so we will make sure that you know every player gets the very best opportunity going into this you know great stuff indeed yeah and hopefully they'll have an enjoyable summer ahead and I suppose to, to do a wrap on it you know great that we're supposed to have games back and great to have I suppose these guys representing their county Eugene and uh, no doubt you're looking forward to Saturday and uh, you know different chance I suppose to view different players and get them to get quality game time as well I suppose against uh, decent opposition as well oh yeah like, the competition is going to be strong and like you know that we've been looking at the players uh, in the in, in the football uh, arena and there's plenty of strong talent there, and uh, there's plenty and across the board, across the clubs that are coming in, uh, are, 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 are identifying players to come into development squads and development. So we, there's plenty of strong strength in water for football, and we're just looking to make sure we carry that through. Yep. You know, uh, you, you know, we're we're working on great experience there with guys that have been in the in looking at development for a number of years now, and they're all coming into support. So it's a fantastic opportunity for everyone. Yeah, brilliant stuff indeed. So the uh, Waterford under fourteen footballers, uh, three teams represented against Immaquilly and Cork City in uh, Killa at uh, four o'clock on uh, Saturday, and uh, we'll be keeping an eye on their progress, and hopefully we'll be paying you a visit, and maybe in a couple of weeks' time, Eugene, to see and how you're getting on and tracking your progress and that. But for now, really appreciate you taking the call. Keep up the good work, and uh, best of luck now to all the squads on Saturday. Perfect. Thanks, Gavin.